Gentlemen, the first question is, does everybody hear me or should I use the mic? No. Yeah, everything's fine. fine. Okay. So welcome to Prague and welcome to Prague and Play 2014. Really glad to see some of the familiar faces in the audience, people that have been with us throughout all the years and some of the newcomers as well. So once again, welcome to Prague, welcome to Prague and Play 2014. I'm pretty sure that at least some of you thought while well, going to this presentation tonight is like where I'm going is like is it here comes another presentation of a super hardcore flight sim you know with all the crazy details um, like huge list of features like how complex is the ballistic system and you know how advanced is the physics model and I can tell you one thing we have it all we have it all in our game because we are simply doing the best flight sims in the world, and that's a statement. But tonight, we would like to talk about some different things. The flight sim genre has been on the market for many, many years, and it has long-standing traditions. We believe that time has come to bring the flight sim genre on an absolutely new level. We would like to introduce you the new approach to the genre. And under the new approach, we mean the three basic fundamentals, which are the challenge, emotions, and flexibility. So let's talk about the challenge, first of all. And this is a sort of thing that can be provided only by modern PCs, I mean like powerful PCs. I'm pretty sure that almost all of you have a smartphone like this or maybe any other company in your pocket tonight. And can you imagine that this smartphone, I mean the computing power of this smartphone exceeds the overall computing power of NASA in 1969. And what did NASA do in 1969? They've launched a man to the moon. And it is 2014 right now. And what we are doing with our computing power, we're launching birds into pigs. So is that it a pity to waste all of this power and with our games, we would like to offer you a real challenge worth a supercomputer. First of all, this is human versus AI. We have a very special AI system in our game. And I won't boast if I tell you this is probably one of the most innovative AI systems in the whole industry. Because we tried to create an AI system that acts actually like a real drone. So you will be fighting against the real drone in our game. Our AI acts exactly like a real human pilot sitting inside the cockpit. So it does the same operations. It does not cheat. It does not take any shortcuts or violate the laws of physics. No way. But even our AI does mistakes. If you're done and if you manage to defeat the AI, we have after that a very special thing for you. This is the PvP mode. So you can go into and try yourself against some of the virtual pilots. And this is what will take a lot of skills and you will have really to master your skills because we have some really tough guys among our community. So for example, real military pilots and all of these photos are taken from the forum. So these guys, they've posted their photos on the forum. We also have real civil pilots. So maybe some of you were riding with these guys while you were flying over here to Prague today. So we have real veterans. And this, month, this man, he is really special to us, Stepan Mikayan, because he was there over Stalingrad 70 years ago. Can you imagine that? And his recollections, his memories were probably the most important <laughs> thing to us because you will never ever get this information from anywhere else. No books, no archives, like no movies, because this is eyewitness. He saw it, it everything with his own eyes, and he, said he visited our office several times, and he shared his valuable experience 
with us. Let's talk a little bit about emotions. In previous years, the creators of flight sims had to do special environment, which was as close to reality as possible because the computing power simply was not powerful enough to recreate reality. Right now, we have enough power with modern computers. So really, we believe that flight sims are not about simulating, not just about simulating every single button in the cockpit. There are more. Flight sims are about emotions, feelings, and the freedom of flight. So we would like to share this feeling with all the gamers all across the world. And I hope that you will also have this feeling. I mean, you could actually take a ride in an air airplane, like a small airplane. It costs around probably like 200 bucks. And after you make this ride, you can compare it with the feelings that you can have while riding a virtual plane in our game. So this is our aim. We would like to you know, make it as close to reality as possible. If a modern computer, you know, capable of performing 10 billion operations per second will make you feel that you're inside a cockpit of a real plane, at least for 10 seconds, this means that we've done a good job, that all of these years were spent for good. And we've done it with the help of documents. We studied the recently declassified Soviet archives. We've studied a lot in terms of aerodynamics. And we have a lot of details in every plane of ours. Let's talk a little bit about flexibility. So usually when people think about a flight sim, they go like, oh, that's, that's something very, you know, very complex and you need a really crazy setup like this one, for example, to play a flight sim with multi-monitors, battles, sticks, all this stuff. But, I mean, of course, this, this, this thing probably costs like 5,000 bucks or even more. I can tell you one thing. You can, of course, you can have one of those to play a flight sim, but Actually, all you need to enter the world of a flight sim is a basic joystick that costs around 50 bucks. And by the way, you have one of those in your gift bag, so don't, don't forget to take your gift bags while you'll be leaving off to the hotel. And just ask yourself a question. What is it like 50 bucks? Like 50 bucks is actually dinner for two at a, at a nice restaurant? Or like a discount ticket to a Broadway show? or a set of BBQ tools for your backyard. So actually flight sims are closer to you than you ever thought. It's just like one step away and you'll be there. And the last thing I would like to talk about is the concept that we call play, fly, learn. Our games are very historically accurate and we tell a story, we tell the story of the military events that took place in the 20th century. And we would like to do it in an easy, innovative way. We do not make our gamers, our players, read tons of you know, books, dozens of pages of encyclopedias. We try to give this information in an easy and accessible way. So this is why we call it Play, Fly, Learn. So I guess, as you can see, everything we do, we do with love and we do it with passion. So this is the reason why we call it Hardcore with Passion. And right now I would like to bring down here a person who knows everything about hardcore with passion. So this person is chief producer, Wansi Game Studios, Albert Zhutsov, he knows all about it. So please welcome Albert. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time. So you visited us here in Prague. And with me, we can talk about the passion. Passion is some kind of fuel you need to use when you want to create something new in the genre or in industry. Also, you know, like uh, passion, the creative force you need to use if you want to create as complex uh, game as license. And also in a short period of time, like we created just about 16 months from beginning. And uh, also, if you want to create something to please the core audience, you need to be a core gamer. This is also new about us, because right now we want to present you the games created by gamers and for gamers. 
For me, personally, all the story begins in 2002. This is me, so you're younger and better quality, of course. In 2002, I just bought a box of a game called Alte Stromberg. And I opened the box, and inside the box, I find like a whole new world for me. I opened the history, the engineering, everything, and of course, my friends. So with my friends, I find a lot of emotions during the online play, and we combine, unite everything we have, like passion, emotions, knowledge, everything, to create a team. And you know, we was successful enough. Like, we won everything, every challenge in the whole world, in Holland, Russia, even China. So, today, we put everything we have, the 30 years of playing, developing, learning, improving ourselves with my friends, and of course, of course, passion into this game. And also, about how we do it. Because if you want to create a game for pilots, you need to be a pilot. This is why from the early days, from the beginning of uh, this development, we start to fly, and a little bit dogfighting. understand how to do it and the questions we have what to do. As a producer, of course, I'm curious about the whole game industry, so I read magazines, blogs, you guys doing. And uh, this is how our, uh, our game might look like if we just follow the modern trends. Yes? <laughs> but Thanks for 1C and all our experience, we prefer a different way. Because we want to provide our community the same possibility to level up as we do. This is why today I am proudly present you the new game, the most advanced flight sim in the world. I'll touch to my battle starting. Game based on our previous experience, previous game called Rise of Flight. We created it in 2009 and it's covered the World War I history on the Western Front. And this is also a good game, so we have uh, several awards from the media and from the community. This is why something amazing happens with us. 
like you know, with the, the Kerbal Space Program uh, developers and NASA partnered with them because it's really good. So they're really good in what they're doing. So the same things with us. Russian Historical Military Society uh, came to us and asked us to be a part of the new development, the game about the early pages of a Russian aviation history and about one of the most famous Russian plane, Ilya Morovitz, created by Igor Sikorsky. February the 12th, 1914, St. Petersburg. Thousands of excited spectators are saluting the world's first passenger aeroplane taking off, lifting 16 passengers and a dog into the air. Ilya Muromets has set a new record in carrying capacity, 1,290 kilograms. A lot of hard work and numerous aircraft designs gave birth to this plane created by the Russian engineer Igor Sikorsky. June 17, 1914, the plane makes its legendary flight from St. Petersburg to Kiev and sets the amazing world flight distance record. With the beginning of World War I, Ilya Muromets was re-equipped to become a heavy bomber capable of carrying up to 1,200 kilograms of bombs. It could have four machine guns mounted on it and photo equipment for reconnaissance missions as well. It was preparing for combat. It was preparing for glory. So for us, I mean for team, this was an exciting journey. Like we uncovered uh, something new about the Eastern Front because, you know, it's not a super popular uh, idea in the games. And we find a lot, so maybe today's uh, the right time to do the things like this. Because for us, this was not easy to find all of the information about the planes and events took place 100 years ago. And maybe we are the last who can find the full information about these planes and the World War I. So we are proud. And also, today, we want to say to you that we want to find maybe a new subgenre. There are the gaming experience plus history can be combined in something new. And we call it documentary games. Thank you very much. So, right now, as you all know, we've got two games in development. This is Ilya Muromets and the Alto Stromovic Battle of Stalingrad. So, Ilya Muromets is scheduled to be released Q4 this year. And uh, L2 is for September, scheduled for September this year. We'll probably announce the more exact, exact date a little bit later. We kick off with the early access program for Ilya Muromets on August the 1st. And the same button, Steam, kicks off for L2 starting from August the 7th.